Hello everyone, welcome to Jihad TV, I'm JLab and this is Football Manager 2014 and we're into January now, we are finished all the December fixtures my wage budget has gone over by £800 I'm about to sell Sam Hoskins who's earning 2.4 grand because I just haven't really been impressed with him and yeah in my time, let's put it this way, he's been injured most of the time and has only scored two goals in all 16 games he's played and for me uh, for 72 grand I don't think that's worth it yes I'm selling him to Leyson Orient for 40 grand but really it's just not good enough as far as I'm concerned but if we had a good month we started the month with a FA Cup game. Again, it's a 1-0 victory. I don't know why they seem to be doing this in the FA Cup. We've only scored two goals in the FA Cup this season and we've never lost. We've never conceded, so I guess it's a good thing. But it started with a Dagenham Redbridge attack and really, I was getting concerned because I, I put out a weakened side to Western players and so I wasn't sure I'm still actually not sure who my best team is still as of yet times. But they get the ball back and they play it forward, but we get it back and we start this attack and honestly at times I'm I don't, I don't even know what to think anymore. When this comes to this, once James plays it in, Martin soars. And was there a bit of a glitch they hit the defender or something? I don't know. It just looks like it did. But we've got the goal and Martin gets the only goal of the game, so who mother care? But the next game was against Mansfield, who we beat last time to get to second place and secure it in the end in League Two. So yeah, it's, it's actually a rematch of last season, and it's the same result as last season with a two-nil win. Henderson plays the ball in, it goes out to Pistella, and he scores to make it one-nil. I'm very happy with that scoreline, but I feel we can get more. And unlike the Dagenham Redbush game, we were able to do that when we didn't score there. And honestly, I don't know how we didn't score so many goals, because he's got seven goals this year. And he might honestly be my best signing as the Stevenage manager. And, yeah. Seven goals to his name this season. Incredible. But the next game, Brentford, we actually went behind. And yes, that is Jonas Kabul playing for Brentford. In... Four, five years time? So, who cares? Reeves, it's a bit lucky, but I think it looks more like a clearance. McConnell's trying to clear it, but it hits Kapoor and it goes in the back of the net. I wasn't happy, but the response I got, I could not be upset with, really. Pisatella, Mandron, McConnell, Pisatella, Harold. Hadrill, Henderson, and we start, we keep them passing their bow, keep the ball really nicely. Henderson, oh, Hadrill, Hadrill, Pistilla, and McCornell. McCornell, I think it says. Yeah, McCornell scores the casting goal 15 minutes in, and it's already gone all. I thought, okay, let's go and get the winner. Nothing bloody happened. We didn't get anything. It's a shame. Um, but yeah, we went to Bolt. We we hosted Bolton next, and I thought, okay, let's see what happens. We've got a good lead in the championship and everything else. So, yeah, um, we get this started. We get a good pass to Hammond and Ramsey, and Mandron scores. Okay, good. This is seventh of the season. He's now equal top scorer with Whelan, who's also got seven goals as a defender from corners okay and Henderson takes the corner and Black makes it 2-0 okay good news it's, not, it's a bit more comfortable now we weren't looking that good at the times we looked like we were going to get caught in the break and concede an equaliser but we didn't so I was happy but here's the next game and this for me sums up how good we've been this season And this goal starts from our own attack. 
They give the ball away. And we hit them. Well, we lose the ball. Get it back. Drill. And oh, this is big. This is painful. Max Ted, this is summing up how lucky we have been this year. Mandron just scores because he goes right to him. And I remember being someone who's had that happen to him. And it's infuriating when it happens to you, but it's hilarious when it doesn't. And it's great. Uh, but the second goal, oh, this is another painful one for South End fans. And any football manager player who's played this. And for some reason this seems to be happening lately. I'm not sure if this is some kind of bug. But. You'll see what I'm talking about. Because this has happened quite a few times. It's happened at least once per month now. And look at this. Smith puts in his own net. Max Ted. I'm not sure what's going on there. I know it could be. I know it happens a lot in real life. But the lack of communication. But it always happens against us. Never for us, against. Well, it's happened for me as well, but, you know. But, uh, yeah, the next goal, it took a bit longer. It was already 2-0. I thought, I think we're resting on this. We're resting on a 2-0 lead. No, I couldn't be more wrong. Simon James gets to it. Lovely little Welshman. There he is. Crossed it in. Landron makes it free. Hooray for me. And we were looking unbeatable, we hadn't lost in ages. And then James crossed it in again. And Ramsey gets to that, because it goes straight to him from bad header away. 4-0, it's a wonderful game. Happy to be part of it. But the next game, oh the next game. Left me wondering how on earth we managed to lose. I'm not joking, this is unbelievable how we managed to lose this. I know Port are a good team. I don't care they're in the playoffs, I don't like losing. Especially when it's, well, it's, a, it's at their ground, I know. But especially when we've been having so, such a good form, run of form. We shouldn't be losing, should we? Now soon, we get rid of it, and this is, I know it happens a lot. To you against me, but this, I don't normally see myself doing it. And Paul Anderson gives it to Beck, and yes, that Anderson is my foreman player who I sold to Portsmouth, 80 grand, and he get this, and he got the assist for Beck. He's kicking up the arse, I know it. But the next game, oh, is it so frustrated again? I was thinking because we hadn't, we never seemed to win when we could see the goal first, I don't know why, but this happened, and that is extremely frustrating to see go against you. I thought it was just unlucky, but our players were sleeping, it, it, it's almost as if they didn't care to the ball. It's the second, it's the, still the first half. I didn't actually see this goal, I had to look at it again, because I did not witness this goal at first. So I'd done something else. So I was going. Out, I ran out for a bit, and this is horrible to look at. But James gets the ball back, and Martin scores, all because the keeper did that. And I thought to myself, that is wonderful to look at. After I took it short again, I felt sorry for them really. His gape with his free kick, and Simon James is on fire at the moment. He's scoring and assisting for fun. I put him in, he's playing now, uh, he, put, he might be my first choice left wing at the moment, but then James again with a corner, and Hoskins, and Black scores, it's 3-1 in the ninth plus 2, and Hoskins, that's probably going to be his last game, if, well it might, it might be the playoff game, it might be the last game he takes part in, but pff, who cares, but it's Simon James, I, you wouldn't think he's that good, would you? Looking at first glance, but he's been that good. He has been extremely impressive. He's only good enough for a League 2 player, apparently, but... He's been in good form so far. He's got three goals, six assists, and two Man of the Match awards, or two Player of the Match awards. And Welsh Leagues... I know Welsh Leagues quite a bit. 
after having a brief spell there and getting sacked by a side in another game. But that's another story for another time. No one cares about that. But either way, I've had a lot of fun. And I'm now trying points clear at the top. What the hell? I'm expecting to drop some points in the next 21 games, but not enough that I lose the title. My defence is rock solid. I've got the best attack too. I am currently easily the best side in the league. If I don't get promoted after having a 12 point lead, if I, actually if I don't win the league after being 12 points clear at the top and being 13 points clear of third and 19 points clear of seventh, I'm not going to be very happy at all. And I don't think I can be blamed at this point. If I don't win the league after having such a big lead, I'll be amazed. I mean, look at, I'm looking back at some of the league titles and one team won it with just five more wins than me. That was last year with Birmingham. But then again, everyone lost at least ten times. Another team won it with 26 wins. Leicester destroyed this league by getting 32 wins. Bristol City got 27 wins one year and won it. And Peterborough got 28 wins and won the league. So I need, what, 10 more wins? I've got the title for the most part. I don't want to think like that, do I? Jeez. If I I could probably board, if I get 30 points, I've got 88 points, and I've practically got the title in my hand. I don't like thinking like that, though. I want to do a Leicester, personally. But I don't want to lose more games than I've drawn, so... I like, I'd rather have a draw than a win. Wait, no. I'd rather have a draw than a defeat, and have more draws than defeats than anything else. It's weird. I'd rather win more games than I've drawn, but then draw more games than I've lost, if that makes sense. I know that some people understand what I'm talking about here, but it's something I prefer doing. I don't know why. <sighs> yeah, anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that you'll like and favourite this video, and that you'll subscribe to my channel. It will really help me out a lot. I'm hoping to get my first league win in my career. It's taken me, what, six years? Five years to get it? But if I get it, I'll be very happy. So, anyway, until next time, goodbye and good night. Ta-ta!